Good afternoon, you lovely people. So we're looking at the longer Ray 5 here, fitted with a 20 watt module and my fine focus system. But this is all about testing. So I started off here with a, I was trying to do 3D illusions and I was using offset fill because it engraves quicker, knowing that offset fill does not like complex shapes. So then we moved on to this one. I stopped it. Then we moved on to this one and it was doing something funky. Then that moved on to this one. And I, what I'm doing here is changing the percentage of the uh, power to get the contrast that I'm looking for in the plywood that I'm using. So then we went on to this one. So I'm getting there, getting there. That one I forgot to put on the air assist pumps. So if you look at that one, that was low pressure when engraving and then high pressure when cutting. And that was just no air assist. And I thought, why is it all gone funny? But then I realised my pump wasn't running. Uh, that was a uh, 41 as well. That one, I got the settings wrong, so this is too deep. If you rub your fingernail on this one, my fingernail was actually dropping in the engrave. So then we got to this one, and if before you ask me, my air pump sits inside my enclosure, because even this air pump that's supplied by Longer does vibrate. So... For those of you who are thinking, Andy, what are you doing that for? It's going to suck in the smoke. Well, it won't because you, you need to see this video where I have fresh air pipes poking outside my enclosure. So it doesn't suck in any smoke. It only sucks in fresh air. So the other reason it's in here, it just takes up real estate. And when I finally design my wooden, wooden enclosure, this air pump is going to sit on a shelf up here somewhere out the way. So it's just to save a bit of room. If you're wondering what this is all about, I had a slight leak somewhere on my air pump around this front plastic bit. So I just put hot glue on there. This is my air assist adaptions. I've got videos on this, how to get more air out of your air pump. And then finally, this is the end result. So I'm really happy with the contrast that I've managed to get on the 3D illusion. And... Yes, it is a 3D illusion. Just follow your finger around it and it, it cannot be built like that. Andy is signing out for now. Cheers for now.